Welcome back to American Life Farming, everybody. We've got an update here today, and it's kind of a big one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the changelog. Here is the description of the changes that Lancy Boy made for version 1.2.0.0. And if you take a look, this is now 404.24 megabytes. It's alfalfa windrow sorted, terrain angle sorted, barley issue sorted, map edge sorted, new save needed unfortunately because it's a big update new detail added it says train added decorative only new cell point added really really awesome stuff here um there's a couple other things i want to go over whenever we get in here to show you what's changed but let's go ahead and jump back over into the gameplay all right so we are back now in the gameplay and nothing here on the main farm um has changed at all which is good uh, the starting equipment is still the starting equipment. So you don't have anything to worry about there. It's kind of dirty though. <laughs> it's really, really awesome. Um, what I want to do is go ahead and jump here in the truck. There we go. And let's go uh, take a look at the things that I've noticed that are definitely, definitely different. So the first thing you're going to see is right here. You now have... A working train let's see how long it's going to take for it to show up all right and here it comes so you're going to notice that the arms are going to go down now and there it is so it will definitely definitely take you out now this is not a working train at all you do not uh, have access to be able to load into it and sell at any of the points but since you got a train i wonder what could the new sell point be that Lancy boy made mention of let's drive right down here you're actually gonna be driving south on your map let's go ahead and put that mini map on so you can see exactly where we are and if you remember a the previous update we got this new taco stand right here and with the taco stand you got a new sell point right here I did not go over this in a review video um, but I definitely wanted to go ahead and touch on it now. You know, this is the second update that's been done since the initial release. So that one right there was added last time. And if we come right back here across the bridge, if you had sharp eyes, you probably caught this already. Um, you're going to turn left back to the west. You're going to turn in here and boom, you got a brand new sail point right here. Really, really cool. And if we take a look at the map. These are the new sell points that I was just talking about. The taco food shop down there on the bottom part. And the top part is called the old railway. So if we come across and we look at what all is going to be able to be sold there. So the taco food shop, all right, isn't going to take any of your normal grains. What they will take though are potatoes and they're going to take eggs and they're going to take some milk. It's also going to take your rice, your carrots, your onion and tomatoes. So really, really awesome there. Now the old railway, what's going to be able to be sold there? If we come up here, we can see that wheat is not there, but all your other base crops are. It's going to take potatoes, sugar beets. It's going to take sugar cane. It's going to take rye and sorghum and millet and triticale. So really, really awesome there. All the other ones, um, nothing else has been added just those two sell points right there and it's going to be tricky to get in and out of here because if you go this way you've got some containers you can see right there and then you're just going to drive off into a field so i mean if you own this property maybe you could make your little road to get back out there but uh yeah i i i, I don't know <laughs> it's gonna be um yeah, interesting. It's definitely, definitely going to be interesting because, you know, on this map, you're definitely going to want to use some bigger equipment. And trying to get a big trailer down here is going to be tricky, especially if you're going to not get hit by that train. You don't have a whole lot of time to be able to uh, realize it's coming at you full speed. So, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to drive down this way. So, I haven't seen anything new around this area. All right. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta drive straight. What we are gonna do is drive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, right here. So, 
this side of the billboard says Farming Simulator 22. You can see that, right? Well, so does this side now. Kind of stinks. I guess it is what it is. But yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. So, we're going to keep on driving this way. Up the ramp. And we're going to make a right hand turn. Right here. And we've got this other cell point. The highway cell point. Right here. What Lancey's boy's done is he's opened this up a little bit more so you can get in here a little bit easier. Boom. Right there. And, and added a few more decorations back here. So now you've got a John Deere that's loaded up on a cart, or up on a, uh, a flatbed, and it's getting ready to go somewhere. Don't know where, but it's going to be going somewhere. Hey folks, welcome back to the Farm Sim Show today. We're looking at Lance. Well, at least the radio still works. All right, so what I wanted to do over here is check out this silo. So what are we going to be able to put in here? Well, it's chaff, hay, grass, straw, silage. That's it. All right, so let's drive around over to the other one. And once again, you are going to need to start on New Farmer to have access to all the animals. Now, you're not going to be able to like buy them and stuff like that right off the bat without you know, owning the land. But if you don't start on New Farmer, you don't have even that, okay, if you own the land. So if you own the land and you don't and you're not on New Farmer, then your animal pins and stuff like that, like nothing's going to be there. There's going to be no food troughs, no water. I mean, there's no triggers, anything. So over here, we've got a lot of grains. And this is actually a lot of... Ooh, look at that. You've got carrots that can go in here. Sorghum, rice, onion, rye, triticale, millet, wheat. So it looks like your extra crops. So your sugar beets and your potatoes, you're not going to be able to put in this one at all. So... Keep that in mind. Um, so I guess the next place I want to go is kind of on the other side of the map. Because I haven't seen anything over on this side that's uh, too different. So let's get back in the truck here. We're going to maybe take a little bit of a shortcut. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to do a shortcut. So I'll see you guys over there at the other place. All right, so Lancy Boy said he cleaned up the edge of the map a little bit, and I think what he means by that is there were some trees and things along the edge here that just kind of got in the way a little bit when you were over here on the edge working this field primarily. I mean, that field too had a bunch of trees and things like that. It just kind of, I mean, I won't say got in the way, it just kind of hindered your line of sight a little bit. Um, you can also see there's some cones here now that are definitely, definitely uh, letting you know that it's the edge of the map. So the next thing I want to do, this is something that was updated on the last update. And, you know, since I didn't do a tour or an update video, I want to show it off this time because there may be some people that don't know. But we're going to go up here. And I don't think anybody's been up here. Or very, very few people have been up here on these tours. But... And there's a really, really good reason, because it's like $1.7 million for this property, but it's a really, really cool thing that's going on up here. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut right through here, and check it. There's chickens. You can do chickens. And I believe it's 500 is what is in here. So that is absolutely amazing, too. Um, you're really going to be able to start making a ton of money here on eggs. Um, if you buy this property and like I said 1.7 million I believe it is let's take a look here at the map so it's gonna be right here field number 28 yeah 1.692 so really really expensive but really really cool and worth it so we're gonna keep working our way around here I don't really see anything else that has changed your line point your um, fuel point, your stores all seem to be in the same place. So I believe what Lancy was talking about, the big update was like primarily the map around the outside. And there used to be some lights right here. They're gone now too. Um, you know, the airplane is here, 
I didn't do that in the original. It wasn't there. So we've got an airplane now that flies across the sky at you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really not seeing much else. There is a new um, placeable that you're going to have access to, which is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and uh, just take a look at that here really quickly. Um, you're going to go to miscellaneous. If you come across... You can see that it's going to be right here. It's compost. So if you put that down, you're going to be able to use compost now instead of your manure or your slurry. You can use this or digestate. Um, the interesting thing is that it's also here on the price menu. If you go all the way to the right, you can see that compost sells for 417 or 313 right now. Those are the prices. Um, no idea if that's high or low, but it's really, really interesting that you might be able to buy it out of that silo and then turn right back around and um, sell it. So nothing's changed to those silos. I didn't see anything over at the field or at the farm on field number 19. I haven't seen anything changing up here at the smaller cow pasture. Um, let's go up here and take a look at the uh, edge of the map a little bit again just to confirm that's really really what we see so yeah i see it now and we have some signs up here what do the signs say this is interesting danger risk of falling oh that is hilarious and there's the train there is the train <laughs> we gotta put signs on the edge of the map that is hilarious way to go lance <laughs> all right but that's gonna be it everybody um yeah i don't see i haven't come across anything else um those are the big things that i wanted to point out and um yeah so i hope you enjoy the map oh 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 wait a minute there is one more thing all right so what i need to do i need to hop out of this all right, so we're, we need to go to the garage here really, really quickly, all right? And, oh, man, this is a tough one. It really, really is. You could see the slot count is now 901 out of 1299. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start selling these items. All right, we're going to get rid of everything here. And you're going to see how low we can get the slot count. All right. We're almost there. There we go. 723. There is absolutely nothing else that I can sell. You're not going to be able to lower it if you buy the properties. The animal pins are not sellable. 723 is the absolute lowest you're going to be able to go. So that leaves you 576 slots. Not a lot, but don't let that deter you from this map. It's an awesome map. A little bit of creativity. You can get around that slot count. You really, really can. So, yeah, unfortunately. It's a great map, though. Lancy Boy, phenomenal job. I love these changes. Um, Going to make the gameplay, to me, a little bit better. You've done a great job, sir. Um but yeah, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest console map tours or update videos, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.